Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another quick tips tutorials brought to you by Adobe Photoshop Elements Custom Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in with today's poster and want to know how to be able to get rid of these people standing in the way while keeping this person and the child in the shot. Now, this poster did a great job already at getting rid of a child that was sitting here and a couple of other people standing over here. But now we want to be able to get rid of the people here. Now, the problem is, is that there's not enough rock here to be able to develop an edge of the rock over here and down here and also to clone stamp the pool here without it being noticeably a copy of everything so what I figured to do is to go on the internet and do a search for the same pool or a similar pool and we actually found one and this is it I've already placed it in the placement there it's not exactly the same rock but it's okay it's pretty darn close as long as we place it right there in a similar placement that it was before then we can play around with it a little bit better but now our second problem is that the rock down here is a different color than the original i tried doing some color correction but it still was more purple so when they built these rocks they put more red dye in it so we're going to try to cut out most of them maybe we could just leave this one here and use the original rock from over here so in order to do that if i toggle back and forth you can see that that original rock ends right around here so as i toggle this that's not going to be enough to fill in to go behind this rock so what I'm going to do is grab a portion of this here and stretch it over to move everybody over closer to this rock. And in doing that, that's okay to stretch this whole portion over a little bit. So I'm going to grab the rectangle marquee and I'm going to come down here really close to his foot, but just to the right and start out of the picture here. Grab a bunch of this stuff right around here and... I'll grab it up to this point right around here. This looks good. I'm going to right click and make sure that you choose the original layer. I'm going to hit copy. Now that just made an exact duplicate. If I turn off the original layer, it made that duplicate of that portion, that rectangle. Let's turn the background back on, grab that new piece and watch. We can lessen it or we can make it a little bit larger. And guess what? People will never know that we stretched the rock. It doesn't look stretched at all whatsoever. So we're gonna leave that right around there and hit okay. That helped get rid of some of the people and stretch the rock over as we wanted. I'm gonna go ahead and merge that down. I'll right click up here and there for and hit merge down. That merges it back into the original. Next, when we put the new piece on, we need to do something with the ground here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the clone stamp tool and stamp all this down here and above these people's legs but guess what i pre-did that and that's right here i'll turn that layer on boom and it's a little bit overdone over here and that's okay because we want that new piece rock when we start using it to go in between the two layers so let's go ahead and turn that off right now turn on our new layer and try to figure out placement for this if i take that layer and bring the opacity down to about 50 percent and I can move that around and make sure that the rocks match right here and right here. As long as those corners match up pretty good, I think we're in good shape. So let's go ahead and grab the eraser now and we can start erasing away and make that a brush, a soft brush and something like, let's say 250 pixels. That's exactly what we want. Look how big that is so that when we mesh the old and the new it's going to be a soft dissolve from one to the other so i'm going to start coming up here and i'm going to come down and just kind of go around a little bit like that come over to these people here and come down like this and go straight down to there that looks pretty good we can't really see what we did until we turn that opacity back up to about 100 percent and look at that it's starting to get there i'm going to toggle that on and off it's not looking too bad. So now let's get rid of the rest of this down here. And now we can just get rid of the benches here. I'm gonna bring this back down to about 100 pixels and just erase this portion right around here. Like that, get rid of the benches. And that's looking pretty good. Now we can see the legs, but that's okay because remember we pre-built the floor. That should cover most of it. So now we can leave that floor on and work with it from there. Now let's go in a little closer and fix this rock portion. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and bring the opacity back down to about 75%. And I can make the brush really small, like let's say 30 pixels. 
and carefully erase along this rock face. And when we get to the top here, we can make this gradually bigger from 30 to 125. And I want to get rid of that other stuff here. I'm going to turn everything off. We can see what we need to get rid of. I can turn the opacity back up to 100. Grab our polygon. This time we can actually use the uh, lasso tool and just lasso over what we want to get rid of like this and hit delete. All right, let's turn the background back on. Let's turn the um, clone stamped floor back on and that's looking really good. I can see the person's knee a little bit right there and that's okay. We can actually go to the original, grab the smudge brush and make that like a 25 point and now we can easily just smudge that out right behind the rock now i'm going to zoom back out and look at the top end i can toggle this on and off and kind of see where we need to start smudging out on the wall here and i think right at this line here is going to be good I'll take the uh, eraser bring that up to about 50 percent and i'm going to follow this line do an erase like this Follow that little line, go all the way across, and that's the end of the picture, so we don't need any more. Grab the rectangle marquee tool. As a matter of fact, we're going to get rid of what we don't need and do that. Now we got a little bit up above to get rid of, and we're going to grab the eraser. Let's do another big eraser, like 100, and soften all this up right around there. And go ahead and toggle this so we can see what we need to cut off. I'm going to turn off the background and grab the lasso tool again. And it's easy to lasso all of this out. Boom, boom, and delete. We're getting really close. Let's turn that background back on. Look at that. Now, I am noticing that this one rock here is a little bit darker. So I can either live with it, or if I really wanted, I could take the lasso tool and... Kind of grab onto it like this. Right click, make a copy. Take that copy, go to Enhance, Lighting, Brightness. And I can go ahead and just brighten it up a little bit, which will help change its color closer to the other one. Something like that. Here's the before, after. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now our final step is to take the crop and crop this down to size here. Hit OK, and there we go. Well, that's it for this tutorial. This is Rich calling it quits, saying over and out.